When you first receive Delphi psychotherapy billing software, there will be no clients in your client list. Uh, by default, or when you first install the program, we have this dummy client in here called Sigmund Freud. Uh, before you start adding real clients to your system, there's uh, three or four items that we want you to pay attention to to try to ease the entire process. So uh, on the main screen, uh, the menus up at the top are reports, utilities, and setup and help. We're going to go to the setup menu and select company. Now, this warning is should be taken seriously and this says do not modify the above information, this information up here. The name of your practice, the annual maintenance due date, and the ID number. You are not capable of modifying this on your own. You need our help in order to do that and we can do this very quickly with you if you call us at 800 847-8446. We'll be happy to help you. Our support hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Time. We're located in the state of Oregon. But uh, once we license the actual software to you, and the important thing to understand too is that before you even purchase Delphi, we allow you to install it and then we'll give you at least a month or so to evaluate the program so that you get to use the real software. So we'll put your practice name in with you and then we'll, we'll set up an annual that's uh, a, a timer of about a month out. At the point that you actually buy the program, that would be one year from the date of your purchase. Again, please don't modify this information without our help. But while you're in here, you absolutely can set up your practice name, uh, your address, city, state, zip, etc., that kind of thing. So we're going to pretend you're at 6506. Um, Second Ave, Suite 444, in your city, state, and zip, Portland, Oregon, 97222. Uh, the telephone number for your practice, uh, the system area code you can ignore, uh, the social security number, this is often not used, but if you're going to put your social security number in, put it in, in the format of 123-45-6789. If your social security number is actually all threes, it would be 333-33-3333. Of course, substitute your actual social security number in there. Hyphen, 45, hyphen, 6789. Uh, your state registration number, this might be Oregon license number 5454. Uh, the employer ID or federal tax ID number, this is very important. And again, the position of the hyphen is what is critical here. So if your federal tax ID number happened to be all threes, you would put in 33 hyphen 3333333. If you, use a social, if you do not use a federal tax ID number and you have a social security number as your federal tax, um, then you would put in, in the format, 333-33-3333. This is very important because uh, on box 25 of the insurance billing forms, we need to be able to check the appropriate box and the position of the hyphen is how we do that. Lastly, if you refer to your people as patients, then we can do that throughout the program. If you prefer the term client, uh, next time you log into the software, everything will refer to, in fact, if you kind of see behind here, this says patient information. If you pick client and you save this, next time you come in the program, everything will say client information, add a new client, delete client, etc. That's semantics, but our psychiatrists are very specific that it says patients. And we'll just pick patients here. So the initial system setup, uh, of the company setup screen is the first thing you do. Uh, then we go to the setup menu and select providers of service. And these are the providers within your practice. Uh, you would normally click add and we're going to add you or we can add multiple providers of, of service. In this case we want you to put in three initials. Please put in three initials. If you don't have three initials you can put in two initials. I'm going to put in WSP. My name is William S. Party. Uh, on the in the early days of using the program, leave the password blank. This is always support call number one. I forgot my password. I can no longer log into the program. Uh, we can easily set up a password once you're a little more comfortable with the software. 
The access level is three. This is for full access. We'll get into details about limiting access for various users uh, in a video dedicated to the pro uh, provider user setup screen. Full name and credentials. Uh, this is important. William S. Hardy, PhD, uh, and your national provider ID. Uh, that is almost every single provider in the country now has a national provider ID. So I'm going to put in, uh, and we like you to put three spaces in front of it. We'll explain that later on. And you really don't need to fill out the address, city, state, zip, phone. This is uh, for very, very unusual circumstances. Uh, we're simply going to click Save. We now have a provider of service that you can log into the program now with WSP. So that's step number two. Uh, step number three is to potentially, and you don't have to do this, but it is somewhat helpful, is if you go to the setup menu and select insurance carriers, you might want to add a few companies that you actually use. And here we have other insurance company, which of course it, there's no such thing. And we have Blue Cross in your location. So let's start with Blue Cross in your location. This is not a real company yet, but I'm going to click on this and click edit. And I'm going to call it Blue Cross or maybe BCBS of Oregon. Uh, name line two, uh, the address, if you know it. City. Uh, leave the provider number blank if you know the phone. Great. Um, at this point, uh, the, the only other really important thing to do in the early stages of using the program is to select the type of claim form for this particular insurance carrier. So I'm going to pick CMS Electronic. Delphi does provide free electronic billing in most cases. And then leave the rest of this screen alone. Uh, later on, this stuff will start to make sense. Uh, but for the time being, just leave this screen alone and click Save. Now we have Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. And if we want to add another company, for example, um, Medicare, and the appropriate address, city, state, zip stuff there. Uh, CMS, maybe we will choose to do paper for these guys. Most people, again, nowadays are doing electronic billing. And again, leave the rest of this screen alone. This will come into play later on. And if you have some kind of special notes uh, that are related to Medicare, like always contact Fred at extension 27 instead of calling like provider relations or whatever it might be and click save. So the idea here is to add two or three or five or ten of your most commonly used companies. You don't really need to add all of your companies right now because you can add additional companies as you set up uh, as you actually add clients. So I'm going to close that screen. The last thing is the setup menu under default client. And the idea here is uh, you have two things. The default state, and we're trying to save you time as you add clients down the road. So in, in this example, most of our clients are from the state of Oregon. You can put whatever your appropriate state is. We do OR. Um, now, the default procedure code for most of your clients might be 90806 or 90807. Uh, don't worry, we can take care of recording a, a session in a unique case if it's 90801. Uh, the provider. Who's the default provider for this practice? In this case, it's WSP. You may not want to fill this out if you have a lot of providers in your practice. Place of service. That is typically office. But if you were to, for some reason, be always doing things in an inpatient hospital or at the client's home, you could select something different. Uh, office is the most common. Also, one other thing about this screen is uh, what you see in red is what is required by Delphi for you to get paid. And reasonable people can argue with us about this one. For example, you may not want to use referring physician. And if you click on the red box that says referring physician, it says it's now optional for all clients. And if we click OK, we won't have to bother with the referring physician. The one little trick is that if you're going to do electronic billing, we recommend you turn referring physician off. Because if 
you put a referring physician in box 17 of the claim form, you're going to have to hunt down their NPI numbers. And if you don't want to be bothered with that, you can turn referring physician off. If you're billing Medicare, Medicaid, and the referring physician is required, we could, of course, click on referring physician, and it says that it's now required for all clients. So I'm going to simply close this screen. And that's the basic system setup. You're going to do set up company, set up providers of service, and add either yourself or if you have multiple providers within your practice, set up a few insurance carriers, and set up your default client. One last thing I skipped on default client is the default area code. If you happen to be in the Bay Area, that would probably be 415, uh, whatever makes the most sense for you, your individual practice. And if we close this, the reason we did the default client is when we add a new patient and we bring this screen in here, 415 is automatically entered in here. The, refer, the provider of service is automatically WSP, place of service. We're just trying to save you some time down the road. That's it for initial system setup.